so the reason I did two live streams on Tuesday is so that everybody can watch, but it's quickly occurring to me that maybe that's a bit too much for one day, especially if I'm doing a Twitch stream as well. We shall see. One thing I've been eating lately are the little seaweed things with rice. I was calling it poor man sushi. It's so good. You want seaweed is just like rice changing, man. Oh, these are just rice balls, aren't they? <laughs> well, I do like rice balls. That much is for sure. I'm actually just going to take the trash out, but why not make everything a little more dramatic? You know, like why not just like, you know, get some flair in everything, you know what I'm saying? There's not even enough trash to actually bother taking it out to the sidewalk. It's amazing how little trash we produce. Like, that's so different from when I was growing up. I felt like we produced so much trash. Now it's like, we're lucky if we have two bags every week. Actually, I just realized I meant the opposite. We're lucky that we only produce like two bags a week. You, you see how it's done. Don't be crazy. Crack cocaine and baby aspirin. Crack cocaine and baby aspirin. Don't be crazy. Feed it to your baby. Crack cocaine and baby aspirin. I participated in a leadership workshop one time. It's kind of like a leadership motivational workshop. And one of the things that they said has really stuck with me for many years, which is that they were talking about money, but I think it applies to a lot of things. They said that if your goal is to help people, you will have all the money you could ever ask for. And this isn't money, but I've always found that when I'm doing something to help other people or doing something that contributes to other people, I have plenty of energy, all of my ailments and whatever uncomfortableness I have in my body will go away when I'm trying to do something that helps other people. But when I'm just trying to entertain myself and do things for myself, all of my energy is limited, my ability to do things is limited, but when it's for other people, it's like limitless. The trick for me has been to actually realize that that's the case and just be more selfless in the things that I offer and like the things that I do. Like this weekend when I helped somebody move. It, I had tons of energy, it was perfectly available. I approached it with a positive attitude and it was great. But every single time that I've been just like, oh, I don't wanna do that, it's just like such a selfish thing. And then like, what else would I be doing? You know, I'd be sitting at home. What's that thing that Thomas said in the Yellowstone episode? What else would I be doing? I'd be sitting there watching TV, not doing anything all day. And it's totally worth it. That contrast makes you appreciate every other day. Anyways, live stream again tonight. I'm thinking two live streams in a day might be two live crew, but we'll do it at least this week and next week for sure. What was I saying? You know what's a weird thing is like how many muscles in your body we don't use so we feel like we can't do it. But then when you practice it just a little bit, the two that spring to mind for me are this motion. If you practice that a little bit, it gets really easy. And then the other one is your hips doing that motion. When I first tried to learn that, it's very difficult. But then once you get it, it's kind of, I don't know how on earth I just thought of that, but. So I was gonna eat a dinner number two. I was gonna go out and get The Last Jedi on Blu-ray, but I've decided to do the smart, much more responsible decision of not eating late at night. I'm not gonna eat and I'm going to bed. 
I think that's much smarter. Also, fun note, the vlog is going to hit a million views pretty soon over the life of the channel, which is pretty amazing. I know that's small potatoes compared to some other channels, but I'm pretty proud of that. In any case, thank you for watching today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow. Just know that it's gonna be... I'm kinda scared to do it. <laughs> so enamored with that but it's so funny to me crack cocaine and baby aspirin crack cocaine and baby aspirin smash it up don't be crazy feed it to your baby crack cocaine and baby actually i have a funny history with uh marlon waynes he's always been one of my favorite comedians just like since he was on don't be a menace to south central while drinking your juice in the hood but i feel like i've quoted him like most of my life <laughs> crack cocaine and baby aspirin